Hyperzoom is an amazing effect in cinematic films. Not much time-consuming effect like hyperlapse. You may notice some famous type of filmmakers like Sam Calder, J.R. Ali, Ben Tike, and Andras bring this effect to an extremely crazy level. It's true, making hyperzoom effects in After Effects is so easy. I already shared with you in this tutorial. But the question is, is it possible to make hyperzoom effects in Premiere Pro? A lot of people like Premiere Pro more than After Effects. So we should try hyperzoom effect inside Premiere Pro. Okay, let me share the mapping of this tutorial. First, we will learn a speedy way to create a hyperzoom effect in Premiere Pro. Second, we will apply the same technique in After Effects. Third, what is the best way to make hyperzoom effect in After Effects? Fourth, we will try to perfect hyperzoom effect in Premiere Pro. First of all, right click on the video. Choose speed or duration. This pop-up window shows the speed of this video is 100% and the duration is 30 seconds. Now we can increase the speed of this video to 800 or 1000. This way we change the length of the video from 30 seconds to 3 seconds. Finally hit OK. Well, this video runs so fast but there is no feel of a hyperzoom effect. If you see here on the program monitor, you find there is no motion blur. Let's make it better by right clicking on the clip and selecting the speed and duration. We have three options in the time interpolation, regular frame sampling, frame blending and optical flow. I have a separate tutorial regarding optical flow. If you want, you can watch, I'll keep the link in the description. For the hyperzoom effect, we must select frame blending and hit OK. So you have already noticed it made some changes. Let's play the video once again. Now I'm gonna make the same hyperzoom effect in After Effects. Later I'll be back to Premiere Pro to improve this hyperzoom effect. So we have the same clip in After Effects. Now we need to right click on it, go to the time and then select time stretch. The stretch factor is now 100. We have to make it 10 to decrease the duration of this clip from 30 seconds to 3 seconds to increase the playback speed of this video and then hit OK. Now we can play the video by hitting the space key on the keyboard. But it is not OK. We should add some motion blur to this video. And this icon is for frame blending. If we enable it for this video layer, then it blends images to create a motion blur field in the high speed area of this video. Let's play the video once again. We basically apply the same technique in Premiere Pro and After Effects. Here is a comparison view. Now I'm gonna show you what actually the right way to create a hyperzoom effect inside After Effects and then I'll do it in Premiere Pro. Although we know Premiere Pro has some limitations. First, uncheck the blending option. As we already increased the speed of this video, so now we have to apply the pixel motion blur effect to this video from the effects and presets. Expand the motion blur effect as we wanna change a couple of settings here. Shutter angle, I wanna increase its value to 360 and it made some changes. Let's change the shutter samples from 5 to 30. So it again made some changes which is the best. Ok now I'm gonna get back to Premiere Pro to do the rest of the work. At the initial stage of this tutorial, I applied speed and duration to this video. Now from the effects section, we apply the direction of blur effect to this video. Next go to the effect controls, under direction of blur, we change the blur length to 7. Suddenly something has changed. Let's see before and after. At this moment, we can change the direction to around 90. Let's see the image. It made a lot of changes which is perfect for hyperzoom effect. But the whole image is blur which is an issue. And we can fix it just in a moment. So first select the ellipse tool to create an ellipse mask on this video. Change the masking points carefully following this video. Inside the mask is still blur. To fix it, check on the inverted. That's fine, the problem has gone. And it is time for the final touch, we can increase the max feathers value to around 110. Well, now we can see the comparison view with After Effects. I think both are perfect now. So only applying the frame blending is not enough to create a better hyperzoom effect. This is actually the goal of this Premiere Pro tutorial. I hope you get it better. If you have any suggestions about this tutorial, please feel free to let me know in the comment section. And thank you for watching till now. See you later in the next tutorial.